What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is, man. It's the one and only, man. Cut your butt trucker, man. Straight out of 229. Y'all know why. Ooh, don't get tired. Yes, sir. Y'all know I'm back at it like a crack at it. No disrespect to any one of you cracks at it. You did. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Finally made it to my delivery, y'all. Well, actually, I've been here a couple of hours. Um, up here, down here in Little Rock, Arkansas, to this dairy something. Well, of course, where they do milk, make milk with. All right. Got here. This load actually wasn't supposed to deliver to Sunday at 1 o'clock in the morning. So I picked the load up today, and, you know, I... First off, I want to say that if you decide to come to Indian River, okay, just know you're going to do a lot of work on your own, all right? You're going to do a lot of work on, you're going to have to find out a lot of stuff on your own and talk to other drivers, okay? But we're going to get in that. That's going to be another video when I do actually do my review on Indian River. You may want to stay tuned for that video, though. So, but anyway... Um, yesterday when I was on my way back, he sent me the load, which the post been going to Memphis, Tennessee. Where actually I took my first milk load to up there in Memphis, but I get like halfway back or whatever. They changed and said we're going to Little Rock, but the appointment was for Sunday. Mind you, I was back last night, so I'm like, you want me to sit all the way to Sunday? You know what I'm saying? So. He was like, uh, well, if you get there tomorrow night, they start unloading by 8 o'clock tomorrow night. If you get there, they'll unload you. Uh, he played that trick on me one time before. It didn't, it, it, it didn't go so good. You know what I'm saying? I still had to wait. So I called him. I said, you know what? Let me call him. So I called him or whatever, looked on the website, and they closed at 4 o'clock. I said, uh, how I'm supposed to get unloaded 10? How I'm supposed to get unloaded and they close their phone down over at 8 o'clock in the morning? Then they close on Saturday and Sunday. So, basically, it is the main office which is closed, but the unload for tank are open on at night, starting at 8 o'clock at night to in the morning. So, okay, I was cool with it. All right, cool. So, you know, I called a lady and she told me, yeah, come on in. Actually, I had to call customer service first because the people that actually work here didn't know what was going on. So I talked to her, what, 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 make a long story short with her. She said, yeah, come on in. I told her I'd be there tonight by 8 o'clock. Okay, cool. You're not going to be the only truck out there. It's going to be a lot of more trucks out there. And when I got here, it was like, I want to say probably like 13 trucks in front of me. Lucky they running two, lucky they running two bays. So ain't take that long. I'm next in line. To get unloaded so now he go to crazy part and this is what this is what can cause a commotion could have caused a fight could have caused a shootout could have called you know what i'm saying people lose their job or whatever now i i didn't know okay y'all i didn't know because this is my first time here that i had to um get on the scale so I, I just pulled them behind another truck or whatever, and I noticed they were coming to get on the scale. So I, let, so I stopped one of my um, my other in the rear car. Y'all, we heavy out here. It's probably like 10 of us out here, all right? And a couple more other trucks. So I go get on the scale. Lucky dude hold my spot. He's like, oh, they going to get on the scale and come back, get back in your spot. All right, cool. So I get on the scale or whatever. It ain't like nobody out here. I didn't know where I needed to take my paperwork or none of that. So I got on the scale, signed the scale about five minutes. All right? So I pulled out the scale. So I'm thinking he done loaded, weighed me in or whatever. I go around, come back around, get back in the spot, pulled up to the um the staging bay, which is, you know, when you, the staging bay is the bay that's next for you to get loaded. Unloaded. So pull up. Uh, did I wait? He came up in my truck or whatever. Did I, um, did you weigh in? I said, yeah. Did I weigh you in? Like, with an attitude off rip. All right? And y'all know what, man. Look at him. They ain't day, man. They is not the day. And, 
But I kept my composure, and you know what hard to do because I want to get out the truck, but that ain't professional life, okay? So I was like, when I got on the scale, everybody seen me get on the scale or whatever. But did I weigh you in? You didn't bring me a paperwork or whatever? Man, this is my first time here. I ain't even know what I'm supposed to do. And then all of a sudden, he just started, like, started talking, y'all. Like, this is why I, I, I hate when I hate when they send y'all down here. Y'all don't know what y'all doing or whatever. How you going to expect me to know what I'm doing if i never been here before, okay? You think just because our truck coming here on the regular that you ain't going to have somebody come in that's new, that don't know what to do? So he just assumed I should know what to do without even coming here, okay? So... I looked at him and I guess he saw the stare in my eye, like the stare that I was giving him or whatever. And then his whole, it's like at that moment, he knew he messed up. He, he, he effed up. Okay. So first you're talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I guess he thought he was going to get a reaction out of me, but he didn't. All he got was like a blank stare or whatever, like a, a death stare, basically, you know, and the whole time I was telling myself, don't say nothing. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? But that this whole situation could have went totally left, okay? So just sometimes you come out here, y'all. Come out here, get looking, get in the truck, and man, you're gonna have to wear any job, really. You know, you're gonna have to keep your composure sometimes. You know, some things are just not worth it, okay? You're gonna have to bite your tongue, bite your bullet, like, okay. All right, you got it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they want you to do. They want to get a reaction out of you or whatever. You know, but it ain't going to work out. First of all, you ain't, you ain't even worth my time, okay? You know, you about 60-something years old, walking with a limp, barely walking, all that, whatever. You ain't worth my time. Don't even, whatever. Okay, you know, not saying he was a racist, you know, he was white, not saying he was racist or whatever, but he just gave off that energy like, you know, I don't like you. Already, I don't like you. You know, but that's the vibe I got off on the way he did. Because, you know, you time you go to some places, they be like, this your first, this your first, this your first time here or whatever, do this. No, it ain't no guard shack, so they don't tell you what to do. You just pull around and get in line. So, you know, but anyway. You're going to have to learn your whole tone. Y'all, because these people going to try, even some of these truck jobs are going to try you out here. You know what I'm saying? But some things are just not worth it. Like I say, you know, that's how, that how people get hurt, get killed. You know what I'm saying? Fights. You say, you just never know what, what a person is going through. You know what I'm saying? Mentally. Okay? So, be ready for that. But just know, just, just let it go. All right? Just let it go. So, so yeah, once I get unloaded, I'm gonna I'm finish taking my, I already started my 10 hour break, so I this I ain't going nowhere. I'm just gonna pull her off to the back and go to sleep for a couple hours through my 10 hour break up. So I got here at eight. I wish she had to be up at like seven o'clock in the morning. So seven o'clock in the morning, we gonna hit it. Dead head all the way back to um, Lee County, Leeburg, Georgia. And hopefully, Hopefully I can get some tomorrow. I mean, um, Sunday morning that I can deliver Monday to end the week out with. So if that happens, it'll be great. So that's the plan. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we got a lot of jobs going back to Leeburg tomorrow. So hopefully we can get something. But you know, it is what it is. But. You know, that's one thing. At the end of the day, I'm still getting, I'm still actually getting used to this. You know what I'm saying? But, I get me wrong, I like it. But at the same time, it's, it's like, all I do is milk. You know what I'm saying? Basically, all I've been, I only did one, I did one OJ load and one yeast load. Right? Everything else been just strictly milk, 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 milk. You know, cause basically I run out of the car to the terminal and nothing but form around them. Okay? So of course, all I'm gonna do is milk. Which ain't bad, y'all. Let me, and don't get me wrong, y'all, I'm not complaining. 
You know what I'm saying? Because at the same time, it's like, well, you pick up a load, if like 700, like this right here, like 700 some miles. For 700 some miles, all right, you do, you do the 700 that day, because we got, you know, we got that ag exempt, well, it give us 170 miles to go, well, I do 150 miles in PC ag exempt, so my clock don't stop to after 150 miles, so I can run that with ease. That's what I did today, last night. So remind you, you did this, this 700 mile hill, and then remind you, you gotta do 700 miles back the next day. That's 1,400 miles in two days, all right? You get another load. I ain't gonna say it's gonna be 700, maybe six or whatever. You sick? Deal? Six coming right back, that's 12. All right, so it adds up real quick. Like it ain't no, you know, grab a 700 miles, sit on it for two or three days or whatever, you know what I'm saying? No, cause you know, normally they wanna go and get their milk out, plain and simple. So the mile added up real quick, especially when you know you ain't gotta wait, they ain't gotta wait to look for you no load, none of that. When you get empty, you go straight back. That's it, go straight back. So. You already know whatever you did them, you got you got it coming right back. Alright? So and that's kind of the, the good part about it. Like we don't like some other tanker, they had to go to tank washes and all that. You know, to get washed out and all that. We don't do that. Most of where we go, where we go, like I'm here now. When they get done unloading us, they're gonna turn around and wash the tank out too. So they do both of them. So all we gotta do is take it back and get you know, to get back reloaded. So that's the good part about it. You know, so, but I'm still, I'm thinking Hank, I'm sticking you, but you know, I don't, I'm used to driving the tanker. Nah, it, it ain't no, you know, I drive like it ain't in that bike though. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I get down, you know what I'm saying? But I'm loving it so far. Could be, it could be better. I would say that it could be better far as, like I say, the communication. But like I said, that could be in my review of them. When I do that video and it's coming soon, so make sure y'all hit that notification bell. Make sure y'all subscribe to that channel. Make sure y'all slap. You know what I'm saying? Slap it. But yeah, but I thought I'd do a little quick video, little quick little video. You know what I'm saying? You know, hope y'all enjoyed the um the vlog video that I did the other day, my last video. You know, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do some more, but. I've been so, been running, been running. You know what I'm saying? Trying to clock my miles down. Nah, trying to make the money. Trying to make a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? But, all right, y'all. I'm going to go in the video. Enough talking. Enough rambling. I'm ready to go to sleep. I ain't lying. I'm ready to go to sleep. So, and I know by the time he get done with him, they going to be, you know, it take like 45 minutes to unload. Then it take another 45 minutes. So, like an hour and a half to do all that. So, when I get on there, I'm going to sleep. He wants to come knock on my door and wake me up. I'm tired. Like, literally tired. Not, not mentally tired, but I'm physically tired. You know, especially after the long day of running, especially coming up from Leesburg to uphill. Man, 280, boring. 22, I'm about tired of seeing 22. Boring. 40. Boring. You no, know, so like the whole trip is just like boring. You know? But it is what it is. As long as it, as long as every mile like he hit that ching ching noise, that's all that matter. That's all that matter. Y'all know me. I don't I don't get tired mentally. I I don't get tired. I go anywhere. I don't kill. Sim. But all right, y'all. Y'all know who it is, man. It's your boy, man. Cut your butt trucker. Straight out of 229. Y'all already know. I, oh, don't get tired. Yes, sir.